there are different ways of making a fish curry today sharing a very simple version of how to make traditional fish curry in a south indian style that's full of flavor and will taste super delicious hope you like it keep watching hi everyone my name is nisha welcome back to mommy's kitchen let's learn how to make simple fish curry at home in an easy way for making that here i have taken red pom fret also known as lal pa plate which is half a kg you can take any fish of your choice clean and wash the fish slices we need to do a little pre preparation before proceeding into cooking here i'm using shallots around 15 to 20 thinly slice them you may also use big onions if you don't have it however shallots gives an authentic taste to fish curries Once all the shallots are sliced, keep it aside. Now take 8 to 10 garlic cloves and crush them in a mortar and pestle. The fresh garlic and shallots will give an awesome flavor to a fish curry. Now the garlics are crushed well, so keep it aside. Next is soak a lemon size of tamarind in a water for around 15 to 20 minutes. and then squeeze out the water your tamarind water is ready similarly make a red chili paste here i'm using kashmiri red chili powder so into a bowl add in 2 tablespoon of it and mix it with little water and make a fine paste our red chili paste is also ready now so now let's proceed in cooking for that preheat a pan and add around 2 tablespoons of oil here i'm using coconut oil Once oil heats up, add in one teaspoon of mustard seeds, that's rye, and then allow it to splutter. Once it starts crackling, add half a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, also known as methi dhana. Do not add more, as the taste would get bitter. Then add few curry leaves and sauté for few seconds. Then add our crushed garlic. and saute for a minute until raw aroma goes away there are different ways of making a fish curry and this is how it's made in my village style which is hugely loved by everyone the garlics are roasted well it's time to add in the sliced shallots so add in the shallots and saute well to speed up the cooking process we'll add little salt to it So you can add salt as per your taste. Here I'm adding around one teaspoon, and then saute well. We need to cook the shallots until it turns completely soft. It's been few minutes now, and the onions and garlic has been cooked well. So it's time to add the Kashmiri red chilli paste which we have prepared. Remember, the moment you have added the red chilli paste, keep sautéing for few seconds, and then immediately add tomatoes. Otherwise, the chilli paste might get burned. So remember this point and add in the tomatoes. Here I have used three medium-sized tomatoes, and then mix and sauté well. Now we need to cook these tomatoes completely. So while the tomatoes are getting cooked, let's add the other spice powders. That's 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric or haldi powder, 1 teaspoon of red chilli or lal mirch powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin or zeera powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper or kali mirch powder. Also please add 1 teaspoon of coriander powder which I missed to record. So please add it and then mix and saute well. Now we'll cook the spices by covering it with a lid for few minutes and after few minutes you can see The spices in tomatoes are cooked well. The aroma from garlic, shallots and other spices is super flavorful and it will taste super delicious too. Now the tomatoes and the spices are cooked well. It's time to add the tamarind water. So add in the tamarind water and we need to cook it for another few minutes. Mix well and allow it to simmer for 5 more minutes until now the flame has been on low to medium level. After few minutes pour in 1 glass of coconut milk. This I have grinded from 1 cup of grated coconut. And then add water as per your desired consistency. 
At this stage, check the seasoning and add salt if required. Once the gravy starts boiling, gently add in the fish slices. And then we gonna cook for another 5 to 10 minutes on a very low flame. Do not stir it often, otherwise the fish might break. So gently spread the gravies over the fish and allow it to simmer for few more minutes. Isn't this very simple to make? And it's also extremely flavorful and will taste super delicious. After simmering for few minutes, you can see a delicious fish curry is ready. The pieces are cooked well and this is the consistency I prefer. If you want it more thick, then allow it to simmer for another 5 to 10 minutes and it will thicken. Now garnish it with curry leaves and a very simple yet super delicious and flavorful South Indian fish curry in village style is absolutely ready. And it will taste better with time. So if you want to serve it for dinner, try to make it in the afternoon. And trust me, it will taste extremely delicious. I love to have fish curries with rice and also with dosa. You can have it with rotis and parathas too. Hope you like this simple recipe. If so, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And also like and share it. Soon we'll be coming up with another interesting recipe. Until then, take care of yourself. Happy cooking. Bye-bye.